Hi, welcome to the Azure BSC Sharp video series. Uh, I'm Andrea Angella, and in this video, I'm going to explore how to use Azure Files using C Sharp. Azure Files is uh, a way to create uh, file shares on the cloud, and uh, these file shares can then be um, used in Windows or Linux and accessed uh, in a similar way as you would access a normal file share. And under the covers is using the um, standard SMB protocol in order to access the data. So let's have a look at how the API, how are the APIs in C Sharp. So here I have a console application that is creating a storage account. And the first thing we need to do is to actually create a file share. So in order to do that, let me create a share variable and I use a storage account dot um, create cloud file client. Create cloud file client. There we go. I get the client, and then what I need to do, I need to uh, get a shared reference. And let me call the share my file share. All right, now I've got access to a share, and we can actually create it if it doesn't exist. And this actually create a share on the cloud. Let me have a look here. I have a, an Azure portal open. You can click on the uh, Azure VSC Sharp, it's a storage account and files, and you see that there is no file share in there. So this one will create the file share. The next step is to access to the root directory. And you can do that using the share, get root directory. Right? Every uh, share has a root directory. Then let's actually create some, um, let, me, let me create first a file in the root file directory. So root dir dot get file reference, there we go. Let me call this root file dot txt. Right. As soon as I get the file reference, I can use the upload methods to actually populate this file. You could upload from a file, or you can actually upload from a text, just for simplicity in this case. So, and this is the uh, uh, root file content. Right. So this actually creates a file under the root directory. So it's uh, fairly easy to use this API. Now let's try to create a, a directory and put some files in it. Uh, let me call folder one. And I do root directory dot get directory reference. Let me call it uh, directory one. Let me call it actually folder one. Right, I get asked the folder, and then I need to create it using the create if it does not exist. Fairly simple. And then I can do the exact same things in order to create files under it. Let me call it file one dot txt, and then upload some text into it. File one content. So it's fairly simple. Let me create a couple of files. So let's, this is um, file two, file two content, and uh, even more. Let me create another another folder. Let's call it folder two. Folder two. This is going to be folder two, just to to have some some file in it. And there we go. So now let me run this code and see if it works. Awesome. Let's have a look in the portal. Refresh, and you will see that I have now a my file shares here. We can explore that as a normal file system. And there we go. Now, I'm going to show you very quickly how you can actually download the files using the uh, the API. And I have already a method that I created. Let me try to download all the files using uh, into the CTEMP directory. So this download files is fairly simple. It's iterating through all the files and directories from the root directory. Then I check if the file is a cloud file, I download the files into the path file name. Otherwise, if it's a directory, I create a new directory path, I create a directory if it doesn't exist, and then I recursively download the files. Fairly easy, you can use this, this API in a similar way as you use the file system API. So let me try to run this code now. And if I go to the C temp directory, you should be able to see all the files there. And if I open the file, you should also be able to see the content. Awesome. Right, now, perhaps the most in in interesting things about using Azure Files is that you can actually mount the, the share uh, using your um, your local machine or virtual machine in, in Azure. So let's, actually, let's try to do that. In order to do that, I need to go to the Azure portal, click the connect button here, and you will get a command line um, command run. And let me open the my command prompt. I run this command. The only things I need to change is I need to provide the letters that I want to use in order to mount this file share. Let me use S. 
is actually passing the URL of the file share and the credentials. I click, if I press enter, it should actually create. There we go. Now, let me go to my uh, PC and you will see here a new network location in my file share. If I double click on that, you actually can see the Azure file share as it is a, a normal share in your machine. And you can actually manipulate with uh, the, the files as you would normally do. So this is the power of Azure file shares. It can really help in order to migrate applications to the cloud or in, uh, let um, uh, on-premise um, application to interoperate with cloud applications or actually share documents between VMs. You can, uh, you can imagine there are many different scenarios with the Azure files. And you can store up to five terabytes of data in each Azure file share. So this is it. This is how you can use uh, Azure files using C Sharp and actually mount the Azure file share using your machines. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you're interested in learning about C Sharp and Azure, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.